Oh, God. And thank you to the million of you who pointed out last week that we forgot to mention Moonlight winning Best Picture at the Oscars, which was not they something. They did, too. <laughs> See, that was the thing. Like, obviously, we're very happy and proud for the film, specifically for, you know, the black people involved in it and less so the the white producers who actually won the award. But, like, I felt like that whole situation was so orchestrated, like, it was so deliberately done that it made me mad. Like, it made me not even want to talk about it because I just didn't even want to get into the whole, like, so y'all really let these white people come up here and give speeches and then act, like, fake benevolent and be like, oh, but really, black friends, come up here and have your award. Like, the whole thing just... We appreciate you so much and we oh love... Oh, my God. Oh, I just love Moonlight. Oh, my God. We love the black... Like, it just, it annoyed me so bad. But yes. I actually lived, like, it took me a minute to come down off of my petty and realize that that was problematic. Because at first, I was so excited to see white faces crack in favor of uh, blackness. Mm-hmm. And so I was just happy to see, you know, you know, them holding awards in their hands that they had to give to black people. But... I was with friends and one of them basically said the same thing. Yeah. That this it kind of me overshadowed off. the win. They robbed Moonlight like, of yeah, that moment. That's really true. Right. Like, which is not the biggest deal, but like y'all just robbed them of, of hearing Best Picture Moonlight. Y'all, you just took that away. But. And made it about white people when it was already going to be awarded to white people anyway. You just, best Picture. <sighs> yes. Yeah, so anyway, though. First LGBT film to win Best Picture. Come on now. Come on Girls. now. And first black, blackity, black, all black ass, black, black movie. Yes. To win. And got re-released, Moonlight. I think, in additional theaters after the win and all that. So, and? And shout out to my baby father, Mahershala Ali. Woo. I thought that you were going to say my baby father, Trevante, Trevante No, I won't be arguing with you and the rest of the internet over Trevante because everybody wants him. And I just... I, I did have an inappropriate uh, dream about Mahershala Ali the other day. But I think it's a because I fell asleep with Luke Cage on. Okay. Oh, that's understandable. Um, it is. But either way, yes, very excited for them and mm. for Miami, Florida. Yeah. Take it. That is just home. such a fucking win. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. I was reading in some newspaper article online that uh, the Barry Jenkins, right? That's his name. Yeah. He was talking about how, you know, they were going back to Miami. And, of course, they're using massive lights in the streets at night. And mothers were coming up to them talking about, you know, normally we can't let the kids come outside and play at night. But y'all are here. So the lights are in the streets, you know, so it's safer. And kids were coming up to them like stunned had never seen you know big ass cameras like that and all those different people and he was like all these little black boys and girls were like wow like they're filming a movie here like we could do something like this and how it was just so inspirational I'm like Moonlight is fucking that is one of thousands of reasons that Moonlight deserved that win over fucking La La Land white people and jazz (laughs) which isn't (laughs) which isn't even theirs right white jazz on top of that like not even Anyway, it's like the Macklemore documentary it, trying to win over oh, like anything else. It is. It is just like Macklemore being like, "Oh, well, I'm up here winning, but you know, Kendrick should have got this. You should have got this. Except Kendrick. Let's didn't. talk about it on Instagram. <laughs> and so like, you're so uh, but yeah, that young both the yes, yes the the kid who plays young Chiron. Mm-hmm. Went right back to school. <laughs> so Him and his too. co-star. <laughs> the teenager. Who played his best friend. No, oh, the, 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 other, the youngest the two little ones. ones. Okay. They went right back to school in Miami. <laughs> were right back in class like... <laughs> my mama said... Well... My mama yeah, said yeah. the Oscars... <laughs> that ain't enough. So... I'm right back in school, y'all. Yeah, I'm up? right here. In Best class. picture and better get a hundred on the spelling test, or that's gonna be my. Ass. And their teacher used it like they were on the news, and she was like, "This is a sign that parents should, if your kids show any kind of interest in arts or creative stuff, stand behind them and push them. These yeah. kids right back here in school like they were. <laughs> Although Lil Chiron about to be on a Showtime show, I can't remember what show it is that they said, but he's moving right along with his uh, acting career yeah. and so on. But I just to take home that win black gay and miami my god right it's you it's me it's you i like, basically won that's best yours picture. right your life well not your life but like yeah, no. but like you Close somebody enough. who shares so much in common with absolutely you. and the boy who played teenage chiron First of all, nigga broke my heart. Like, seriously, one of the best performances I've seen yeah. from anybody ever doing anything. Just the amount of emotion, the range that young man showed. Like, I 
get choked up thinking about it. So I can't wait to see what he does. I, I got see my him Blu-ray copy of it, and it says <sighs> Golden Globe nominations on it. And if they put out another one that says Best Picture winner, which I just feel like they should, I'm buying. That you one should, too. yeah, you should. So, and I'm gonna get a Moonlight poster. Congrats to the cast. And frame it and put it somewhere in my house. Oh, go Blacks! Because that movie's everything. <laughs> 